Hello YouTubers, this is Fire Alarm Man 458 here with an update. Uh, if you're wondering, that's my refurbished go-kart. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so far I have been working on my system. It's not new up here. There's absolutely absolutely nothing new that you guys haven't really seen yet. But I'll tell you what is new later. But right Right now, the panel, for some reason, is acting weird. It looks fine, but it's just acting really random and weird. So, I haven't fixed that right now, so I'm about to leave here back to my mom's. But, anyway, so that's with, with my system. And I've also created a new fire alarm panel. Kind of a surprise. Uh, it's called the LRS... Um, LRS 6005 and here's the diagram yeah whatever a few relays and stuff in it um, this is the inside power light, alarm light, silence light, battery light um, alarm silence, audible silence uh, trouble silence, reset and test this is just stuff I'm mounting. Let's just take that out. That's the trouble battery. There's, the relays are behind the control board here. So, here, let me turn it on. Okay. Right now, the trouble battery is disconnected, so, because I don't want to. Okay, so the power light is on, and if you push the test button, it will turn it into alarm mode. There's nothing connected, no alarms, no strobes, no nothing. So, this is when the horn and strobes would be going off. Silence, you push this button. Activates the light, and the strobes are flashing while the horns are turned off. Push this to reset. And you push this to turn off silence, because if you don't do that, and you activate it again, then it will activate in silence mode. And you don't want that happening, so. And I'm not going to show the trouble right now. It's too, like, kind of too much trouble. So, here's our two wires, and I just need to connect them together. Okay. Now it's in alarm mode. Silence. Mess that up. Break those connections apart. And then reset, turn off silence. And then there's a little window here. The lights. And I made another custom metal plaque. For the metal creations, like LRS 7002, since it has a metal cabinet thing, I painted it straight on. If it's wood, I make a plaque and use uh, expensive glue to put it in. And that's the transformer. It's actually an 18 volt system, even though I'm using these kind of lights and stuff. So, this is actually an 18 to 24 volt system, so I can run regular things instead of 12 volt stuff with this. Which I'm glad, because I can replace that stupid Firefly panel. panel. So, and is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, and as for the MS4, um, I'm thinking of turning it in to, not turning it in, but to, or I need to replace the recidifier for it. There's a re broken recidifier on the circuit board. I've been told, I've asked a few people, they said that, um, it can be fixed, expensive, but it can be fixed, which makes me a little relieved since I didn't waste $112. It's actually pretty cheap, but, so hopefully I'll get that fixed, but not, not anytime soon, I'm sure. If I ever do get it fixed, I'll probably use it for my mini system. I might even use it for my regular system, I don't know. We might know later. So, that's all that's new. Just my new homemade fire alarm panel. And I will put a lock on it. 
right now I have not but that's the only thing that's in the way of this otherwise it's completely finished so that's it and I know I don't show you my go-kart very often but what, see there's a key switch to activate ignition you grab the key <clears throat> And instead of a regular toggle switch, I put a key switch on here. So you can, when you turn that, um, and then you use the regular pull starter, which is right there, then um, you'll be able to start the motor. Yay. Yay. <laughs> anyway. So thanks for watching. Bye.